this video, I want to talk about three things you can do that will help you succeed in your math classes. These aren't, these aren't study tips, okay? These are things that you can do with your mind, like mind tricks. Uh, things you can tell yourself in your mind that will, will help you succeed in your math classes. And this is, these are things that I have done in the past. And it's just about changing your thought process, right? Changing the way you think. And honestly, a lot of times that's all you need. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you should do, which is something that a lot of people do already, but you might not be doing it, is to go in with a really positive attitude. Now, this is one that I never really had a hard time with. I'm a really, really positive person, probably overly positive. I'm definitely a half glass full kind of person. Like, I am super positive. I'm probably overly optimistic. And whenever I had a new math class, I would go in there like a rock star. First day of class. And you know, what do you do the first day of class in, in math? You talk about sets. I'm like, oh, I know what a subset is. I'm gonna rock this class, right? So go in there with a really positive attitude. And that, that really helps. You know, attitude is everything. People say that, I, I don't know if it is, but let me tell you, it really, really helps. And the first day of class is always a good day to have that positive attitude. Which leads me to the second thing you can do. The second thing you should do is keep that positive attitude. So let's say you go to class that first day, you talk about sets, you feel like a rock star. You go to class the next day, all of a sudden, you're talking about the construction of the real numbers and you're like, oh my God, what is going on? I don't understand anything. I can't understand this teacher. Keep that positive attitude, right? You have to maintain that positivity because if you maintain that positive attitude, it's going to translate into everything, right? It's going to translate into your study skills, into your performance in the class, into your personal life. I mean, it will make a big, big deal. And it's really tough to maintain a positive attitude you know, as the semester progresses. You know, you have a test, Maybe you don't do so well, right? So how do you maintain that positive attitude? Well, you fail your test, talk to your teacher, right? Send them an email, go see them in person if you can. You know, any type of communication you can have with your professor after a bad test is super important. I often, often get emails after the first test. In all my classes on the first test, there's always people who fail the test and they always email me and I always have the same response, right? I always look to see what they did. You know, did they do the homework? A lot of times they didn't do the homework. So I tell them to do the homework. If they did the homework, I give them other tips. I usually give my classes like a list of like topics for the test. You know, if they go over those, they can get a hundred. So, you know, all the usual things. So I try to help them, try to tell them that, you know, they can do it because they can, right? People come back. I have seen people rise from the ashes from test. I had, I had, I don't want to get too off topic, but the first class I ever taught, I had these two guys and I think they were brothers. And on the first test, they got like Fs. And I was like, oh, these guys, you know. And they were good students, right? They sat in class and like they were always on time. It was a five day a week class, 8 a.m. every single day, Monday through Friday, right? 8 a.m., boom. And they had to be there. It was so hard. I had to be there. That's really early. But they failed the first test. Second test, I think they got Cs. Third test, I think they got Bs. Fourth test, they got As. Final, they got As. They did awesome, right? So they got better and better and better. So it does happen. You can get better. The third mind trick you can do to help you, you know, succeed in your math classes is to be responsible for, for your own success. You know, if you take that responsibility into your hands, it's always better that way. You know, you can't let other people be responsible for your life. It's your life, right? It's not their life. It's your life. Nobody cares more about your success than you. Right? Nobody does. They, used to, they say that in finance. You know, when people talk about investing, they always say, you know, nobody cares about your money more than you. It's true for a lot of things. It's true for education too, right? No one cares more about your success than you. And so you have to make it happen. You have to be responsible for it. So if you fail a test or you fail a class, you have to come back even stronger because it's your life, right? This is, this is the one shot you have in your life, okay? This is it. This is it. This is your life. This is, you, have, you don't have another life. This is your life. You have to make it happen. And what makes it hard is that, you know, we encounter situations where, you know, you take a class 
and you don't do so well and you know you think the teacher doesn't like you or you know all, all kinds of stuff the teacher's discouraging or maybe your friends are discouraging maybe it's your family but it doesn't matter because it's your life it's not theirs right you have to make it happen make it happen i hope this video has been helpful to you and yeah yeah just make it happen good luck Thank you.